When I was a kid growing up in sort of this working class Mexican American family, what I learned about the world outside my community was really through reading books. It took me to different places. It taught me about people and customs and habits and points of view that I just didn't encounter in my day to day life. I studied law at Stanford and uh, I've been a lawyer now for 30 years. Law gave me uh, the subject matter for the Rios novel, certainly woven throughout the books are things I picked up from cases I was working on that I would then use. I'm part of a movement of mystery writers who started in the 1980s who were really bringing to mystery the voices of characters who hadn't been heard before. The voices of people who in traditional mysteries were generally the victims or the criminals, uh, now being the protagonists. Rios is a, a gay man and he's Latino and you know he's just not a character you see very much in any kind of American fiction and so I was very interested in presenting his take on the world. You know he's a do-gooder. Someone who uses the system to try to improve life for the dispossessed. My family and my community were part of the dispossessed. <laughs> I mean we were poor. You know my interest in social justice isn't abstract. It's quite personal. That's my interest in social justice was improving the situation for myself and people I cared about. 